Hey besties. So what I'm working on today is a sweetheart candy box for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to do this two different ways. I'm going to do one as a box where you can fill with the sweetheart candies yourself. Like, you know, basically buying a big bag from Target or the dollar store and just filling in each bag. Or I'm going to do it as a wrap where you will just uh, basically wrap the box. So you can decide which Ever you want I'm gonna put uh, the box on my Etsy site the wrap of course you can do on your own with whatever software you decide to use um the box is usable as a PNG and also um, a Photoshop and a SVG okay so I will leave the links down below and also to everything else that's going to be in the video will be linked down below as well as far as fonts and clip art and such. I am going to go ahead and give you guys the measurements that I'm going to use and then I will go ahead and get started with designing. So for the box itself is going to be 6.6 .6 by 4.25. So once you pull in the SVG, if you're using design space, you're going to just readjust to 6.6 .6 and it'll be around 4.25 already. You may have to do like a slight adjustment there. For the actual wrap, if you decide to use it, you're going to use 6.15 by 3.4. The side panels for your sweetheart box are going to be 0.6. So if you want to design anything there, you're going to just put 0.6 by 3.4 box there so that you can design that part. And then the front will be 2.5 by 3.4 okay and then if you're you know if your boxes are ever off kind of like you can't get them quite right just select them together and and then go to a line and center vertically and then that will put everything together for you I'm going to do is just select them together just shift shift and shift and then I will group and you can either hide it or you can leave it there whatever you prefer it's completely a preference thing if you're ever doing a score line and you want to make sure that you get it completely straight just like uh, you know when you have to twist them for these lines here at the bottom just go to more go to rotate and hit 90 degrees and then it will flip it for you you can adjust there that way you don't have to worry about it being crooked or anything like that okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my design and what I'll do here is I'll go to fill go to print I'm going to choose this first design here and once it pops up I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to make this at around 300 scale. Maybe a little over. I think 315 is what worked. Okay. And then I will do the same thing here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in some of the clip art that I'm going to use and we'll go from there. The font that I'm going to use is called uh, Pie Packs.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go through and group, flatten, and same thing here. I'm gonna flatten. I'm gonna add back in the score lines. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything is centered the way it needs to be. I'm gonna attach my score lines to my project and the same thing here. Just remember that you do have to flatten your project before you add score lines because if not, it's not going to work. Okay, so now I'm gonna to go to make it. You can print two to a page, so even the candy boxes, you can still do two to a page. Okay, I'm going to go to send a printer, advanced option. I'm going to go to print. I'm going to go to popular, medium cardstock, edit tools, scoring stylus, continue. And now I'll go ahead and cut and assemble. reinforcements in my score line. So I'm going to tape down right here. And down right here. Tape here to these little pieces. So I added tape right here to these flaps. That's gonna go on the inside. So is this. And then I wanna I wanna fold this in as well. So that will go inside and this will fold down. So now I'm gonna fold this in and You can even do this as a window box where you do like a heart or something there and then just put the clear uh, film on it, whatever you really uh, choose to do. And then also you can either glue this down or you can do a slice right here on the end of this box and then you'll be able to tuck that in. But you wouldn't be uh, probably using a heart on every single box because you can use this box if you decide to purchase it on other things. So, um, so that would be how that looks. So I'm gonna just do Make sure you got like a really tight mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. So here is the end result. I don't have it closed or anything like that. Um, and then this one you can still open without taking the, the wrap off. So really is up to you how you want to go about this but here you have it if you have any questions please let me know down below in the comments i thank you as always for watching and i'll see you on the next video